Hello everyone, this is Mang Sang Thi from feelaman.com and I am back with another SQL Server 2014 tutorial video. And in this video, we are going to learn about how to add SQL Server Data Tool or Business Intelligence Development Studio in existing SQL Server 2014 installation. If you are aware about the setup difference between SQL Server 2014 and SQL Server 2012 is up to SQL Server 2012. SQL Server Data Tool or Business Intelligence Development Studio is a part of SQL Server Setup. But in SQL Server 2014, Business Intelligence Development Studio or Data Tools are not available in the setup. So we have to download the data tools separately and install it in our machine. The prerequisite for this is you have you required the setup of SQL Server Data Tools and for me it is available in Documents, Softwares, SQL Server and that's it. Okay, uh, if you want to know the download link for this, I am going to share the download link of SQL Server Data Tool for PI in the description of this video. Okay, now we have to double click on SQL Server data tool bi english edition dot exe so let's start double click to initiate the setup process and setup is ex exactly extracting the files in the background so we have to wait for few seconds or maybe max to max one or two minutes and let me close some I don't want this so maybe it will help us to free the resources this user is normal memory is normal okay here it is if user access control asking for the installation of SQL Server 2014 then you have to click on yes and let me yeah I want to extract everything inside this click on ok now SQL Server data tools for business intelligence is extracting all the set of files okay, I don't want this anymore and extraction is almost complete and let me open the path I think I already opened so here it is and this is the folder in which all the setup files are extracting okay it is almost complete Now you have to click on setup.exe Again user access control or user account control Ask for confirmation then press on yes button Please wait while SQL Server 2014 setup process the current operation Ok we are waiting we have no other option and let me go back and one thing I want to show in this that the SQL Server installation is of 64-bit architecture and the SQL Server Data BI tools is in 32-bit 
so I am not going to add this in my existing installation I am going to create or I am going to install it separately as a new installation I think okay SQL Server 2014 setup I accept the license term read everything and now I have to click on next now SQL Server is checking for all the rules for me everything is perfect if your setup is not come on this set, this window then you have to check which rule is failed here for me everything is uh, green so I don't want to perform that step it automatically clears them on the installing installed setup files okay, again installation rules is uh, again he checked something and he passed everything and jumped on installation type and I want to perform a new installation I don't want to add the feature in existing one because maybe it caused some issue because my SQL Server Dev 14 installation is 64 bit architecture and this setup is 32 bit so I don't want to reinstall the developer tools so that's why I'm going to perform a new installation or let me see whether I'm able to do it in existing one installation type SQL Server Data Tool for Business Intelligence SQL Client SDK I am not able to change the default path click on next So same architecture that's why I don't want to add this feature in uh, I don't want to add a 32 bit architecture software in a 64 bit rule same architecture installation failed okay as I mentioned previously the installation of SQL Server is of 64 bit so that's why I'm going to perform a new installation so I want to show you something why I'm not able to install this in my existing instance that's why my mm, aim is successful now I'm going to perform a new installation and this time if I'm able to change the directory I'm going to select F drive the main reason is my F drive contains 160 GB let me select everything and I don't think so I am able to change it so no issue click on next feature selection is complete and now see the, the features rules are success this time and my installation is automatically start so we have to wait until everything is complete and I'm pausing this video and once it is complete I back I'm back finally our SQL Server data tools installation is completed successfully and it popped with a message one or more affected files have operation pending you must restart your computer computer after the setup process is complete okay no issue and I don't want this I want this window so SQL Server data tools business intelligence for Visual Studio is installed successfully and let's check it in our installation list and here is the SQL Server 
data tools for Visual Studio 2013 and it is a part of SQL Server 2014 Business Intelligence Development Studio or SQL Server Data Tool. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you are facing any issue just leave a comment with warning or proper error message. I will get back to you with proper resolution step. If you are friends are facing any issue or how they want to know how to install SQL Server Data Tool then you can share this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe 